Hey guys, Chris Fix here, and today I'm going to show you how to clean the inside of your windshield so that it's crystal clear and streak free. The windshield on my truck is very dirty on the inside, and it's easy to see this at night with the glare off the oily film. This makes it really hard to drive at night and is very distracting, and it drives me crazy. So let me show you how to get rid of the streaks and make it crystal clear. The inside of your windshield is a real pain to clean for a few reasons. One, it's really hard to get in here between the dash and the glass. The other problem is, on the glass, you could get an oily film, which leaves streaks and is really hard to get off. And to understand how to clean the oily film off, you have to understand where it comes from first. So that oily film that gets on your glass is primarily from the off-gassing from the plastics in your interior. Most dashboards are made of vinyl or plastic, or a combination of the two. And vinyl and plastic all have oils in them. And when they get very hot, such as when the sun's beating down on the dash, those oils come to the surface and evaporate. And then they'll stick right onto the glass. And that's how you get that oily film. Another cause of that oily film is using one of these greasy protectants on your dash. And finally, smoking is really bad for you, but it's also bad for the interior of your car. And all that smoke has to go somewhere. It goes all over the interior glass and just makes a mess of your glass. And it makes it even more difficult to clean. So now that you know how the interior glass gets so dirty, let me show you how to clean it up, get it streak free and crystal clear. And it's really easy to do. Before cleaning the inside of your windshield, Make sure you clean the outside glass so you can easily see the dirt and streaks that are on the inside. I have a video on super cleaning the windshield which will make your glass crystal clear and repel water and dirt. I'll leave a link to that video in the description and you can check that out after this video. Alright, with the exterior glass looking nice and clean, we have three main steps to clean the interior. The first step is to use a clean, dry microfiber towel and clean the whole interior glass. And then you're going to either want to use alcohol or one of these Mr. Clean erasers to degrease and clean the glass. This is what's going to get that oily film off. And the final step is you're going to use your favorite glass cleaner and another microfiber towel and wipe down the glass one more time and after that it'll be crystal clear. And while this process works on any glass including the side glass and the rear glass, if you have rear tints I wouldn't use this method on rear tints. All you need to do is use some soapy water and a microfiber towel, boom, clean. It's a lot easier to clean tint. So let's get started. Although you might want to clean the glass from the driver's side, you have this big steering wheel here. So let's give ourselves more room and go to the passenger side. I just want to let you know real quick, I'm cleaning the entire windshield, but for demonstration purposes, I'm only going to show you this side of the windshield getting cleaned. So step one is get a clean microfiber towel. There's nothing on it, no chemicals. This is actually brand new. Top tip on your brand new ones, always rip off the tag. And what you want to do is you want to get in here and wipe down all of the interior glass. A lot of times it's really hard to get into these tight areas between the dash and the glass, especially where the dash and glass meet. So one method you could use that really helps is using the backhand method. And what you do is you face towards the rear of the car and take your hand and face the palm of your hand towards the glass. And you could see it could easily reach in there with my hand all the way to where the glass and the dash meet. No problem providing enough force to clean the surface. So now that you know the backhand method, step one is to wipe the glass off with a clean, dry microfiber towel. When cleaning the glass, you want to go in circular motions, which attacks the dirt at all angles. Then flip the towel over to a side that hasn't been used yet and go in an up and down motion to finish the first step. Also, as you clean, try not to let the towel touch the dash. Keep it nice and folded and controlled so that you don't get any of this grease that's on the dash on your towel and then you're just rubbing that grease back onto the glass. If you do for some reason get this towel on the dash, this towel is done. Go throw it in the wash bucket and grab a new towel and finish whatever step you were on. Another thing I should mention, if you don't have microfiber towels, I'll leave a link in the description to where you could get them. They're relatively inexpensive and they're reusable. With that being said, not everybody has microfiber towels, not everybody's going to want to go out and get them. So you could use regular paper towels, they just don't work as well. Okay, the first step of wiping down the glass, first in circular motions, then straight up and down with a clean dry towel is done. So let's move on to the next step. So step two is an awesome trick that I learned, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use one of these Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. If you don't have a magic eraser, you can use rubbing alcohol and a microfiber cloth. The whole point of this step is to degrease the windshield. But I highly suggest trying to use one of these Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. All you have to do is you dunk it in warm water, you wring it out, and that activates it. And then just take it and clean off the glass in circular motions. Make sure that this is wet. You want to make sure that this has liquid in it and that the glass is getting wet. 
As you're doing this, if you get any drops of liquid on the dashboard, get a paper towel real quickly and wipe the dashboard off because you don't want the liquid to stain or even damage the dashboard if it sits on there. It is a cleaner and you don't want it to discolor it. So once you finish your circular motions and you've cleaned the whole windshield, you want to quickly grab your microfiber towel and dry this off in circular motions. You don't want the liquid from the magic eraser to dry onto the glass. You want to soak it up with your microfiber towel because in that liquid is going to be all the dirt and grease that you're just absorbing right now. Step three is the last step, so grab your favorite glass cleaner and spray it on a clean towel. Don't just spray it right onto the glass because this is what happens. When you spray it onto the glass like that, you get all drops all over here and you're just going to get all that cleaner on your dash. And the little spots are going to create discoloration. So that's exactly what you don't want to do. Instead, get your glass cleaner and a microfiber towel and spray directly onto the towel. And then you take this and again clean in circular motions, making sure you reach all parts of the dashboard. And once you do the circular motions, you flip your towel over to the clean side and go straight up and down. And that's how you make the inside of your windshield streak free and crystal clear. Use a towel, magic eraser, or alcohol, clean it off, use your favorite glass cleaner, clean it off. Boom, look at that. It is crystal clear and I'm about to go test it out at night to see if there's any streaks left. So the windshield looks great. As we're driving along, you can see there's no glare at all. There's no streaking. It looks crystal clear, which is awesome. So here's before cleaning the windshield and here is after. What a difference. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Up on the screen are a couple how-to videos. To get to those videos, you can click on the screen or find the links in the description. Also in the description are the links to all the products I used in this video, so you can check it out. My top tip for this video is to never use any type of shine or protectant that is greasy and that leaves a residue. You want to try to find a protectant that says it leaves no greasy or oily residue. And again, with this stuff, never spray it while you're in the car. You don't want to spray it onto the dash. You want to spray it on a towel first, and then take that towel and clean the dash.